Hello, beta testers. Sometimes, gaming can grant an escape from reality. Other times, games can be so monotonous and borderline unbearable that you'll wonder if it was designed to make you want to stop procrastinating and get your chores or studying done. We used to think video games couldn't make you violent, no matter how bad they were. Boy, were we wrong. My name is Kyle, and today, we're going to be exploring seven unhinged things you can do in saints row the reboot number seven spending real money on this game are you out your mind the game developers shamelessly cling to the saints row name but admit to neutering it claims inclusivity but literally offers less body variety than decade-old entries yet paradoxically out here using big titty e-girls to market their cancer i'm not saying don't play saints row i'm saying wait for game pass playstation plus whatever discount it is this is nowhere near comparable to other experiences at the 60 dollars asking price so yeah don't send the message that this is code cool, that they can do it. number six engage in what the game refers to as a criminal venture where you rob a food truck really sticking it to the man a volition you know <laughs> but uh, like a food truck you know what i'm talking about food truck heist they got it coming Ooh, you see, oh, start to get on my nerves with a food truck all over the place. Oh, be a real restaurant. <laughs> What's next? We go rob a, a fruit stand. Somebody just selling some fruit on the side of the street. How about find somebody selling some lemonade? Just kick all of that shit over. Rob them at gunpoint. Oh my God. That's too edgy for this game, isn't it? Get it up, bitch. Get it. I can't even talk about this on YouTube. You know, there goes monetization. Oh, no. Number five. Play a mission where it's hard to get out of bed. You know, write what you know, eh, Volition developers? I have crippling depression. From there, you can head straight to the DMV to get your official pronoun printed on your license. Laminated, no genital check, the whole nine yards. Complimentary hot dog or taco on the way out. Or both. You know, as long as you ain't sis. Otherwise, you getting beat up. You know, like the beginning of that other game. What's it called again? Saints Row. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Saints Row. Remember that? Uh, remember we got beat up and it wasn't like, Oh my God, what are you doing to me? Uh, my name's Eli. The scrawny, inoffensive, bowtie-wearing black guy that I guess is the advertiser-friendly iteration of a black person that they're pushing pretty hard these days. Developed, of course, by the types of people that are uh, clapping when people jump on stage and say, uh, I'm gay. Brave. Brave. You know what I mean? I'm also super gay, so I mean, uh, I want to give a shot. <laughs> Number four, go read the comments on the videos with the majority dislikes. Just people seeing all the red flags this game's given off. This screams PlayStation Plus free game of the month energy. This game has stuff kids like corporate meeting all over it. Part of me thinks this will succeed. Another part of me thinks this will end up in the bargain bin like Agents of Mayhem. Looks like a fun game to pick up a few months after release when it's on discount. I'm sure you won't have to go far to find some shill saying something like, Actually, I'm so glad that they only punch out. I love the fact that it hasn't really moved on much from like the early 2000s. Number three. Use emotes so tame, they get you beat up at a nine-year-old's Fortnite-themed birthday party. These emotes are safe for church, boy. Your pastor or priest is gonna, they're gonna crown you queen of the pussies, all right? You, you know, the more I see this neutered, sanitized garbage, the more I realize that if a single writer at Volition had any sense, they could so easily have repackaged this behavior by dropping the gangsta thing and making these millennial saints a cult. But that would be witty. It would be self-aware and require more balls than the soy-soaked, tail-tucked-between-their-leg studio of Sarkeesian whipped losers desperate to loudly assassinate their own fucking studio hanging on the coattails of the name of a game that was made by a better group of motherfuckers than y'all. Volition doesn't want to punch down. 
so they're making decent gangsters that murder over student loans, but we would want to invite them into our living room. We've created a set of characters that you're going to want to invite in your living room every day. Oh my god, Volition, someone's replaced your schizo medication with estrogen! Well, how long have you been taking this? For years, you say. <laughs> to shreds, you say. Number two. Clear your schedule, put on some gloves, and break out your biggest magnifying glass to properly appreciate the top-notch writing in this garbage game. Why stop at cheap, unenthusiastic voice acting? God only knows how many Amy Schumer stand-up specials the terrorist who wrote this game script has consumed. I think they must be aware that most of us would sooner invite Ezra Miller into our young sister or daughter's room to stay the night unsupervised before we would ever voluntarily subject ourselves to this aspiring forespoken writer's cringe. Number one. I want Dia to give her number one, but she started listing ideas for things that I told her could not be included because the developers are too woke to take shots at people who deserve it. We workshopped an idea for mini games where you control a new teenager who is trying to capture a viral video of themselves, but they all keep dying because what they're doing is reckless. The mini game could range from trying to balance, uh, like on a skyscraper, uh, staying on the road when you're obviously drunk, riding your bike into oncoming traffic, all of the garbage that you see these trashy youth of today doing. But just adding like a brutal ragdoll, like Mortal Kombat fatality to your death at the end of it, uh, the longer that you can keep from dying, the higher your score or views, the more views, the more revenue that you get from the ads that you post on this video. And maybe you have a friend who's a EMT and he's getting all these, these videos off of their phones as they're carting their bodies off. It's dark, but it's real and real is relatable. A thousand ways to die trying to go viral. How, how fun could that be? At least for the first couple of times. Um, Amaranth, Dia, and all the girls with busts that now cannot be represented in Saints Row were probably as amused as I am. And uh, I guess if excluding is the future of a game like Saints, then it doesn't deserve a future. But only time will tell how people respond and react to this. If you want Saints Row to succeed, send Volition your energy by pressing that like button. And if you don't want this game to succeed, treat the like button like a like a like a pin that you're putting in the voodoo doll that is Saints Row. Soon it'll be over. And sometimes dead is better. Sorry. <laughs> I need to loot, guys. You are grounded, Mr. No, you are loot. right on home and go to sleep. They made you. I can't believe it's just like real life. My loot. My loot. It's out there. It's gone. It's despawned. The loot despawned. Butters, take off your pants so I can take take out my pain on you. Ow! <laughs> Get mad.